Do you want to know which computer language helped you get the best job? The job that pays lots of money in 2025? Don't worry about the tricky list. In this video, I will tell you the top 5 programming language. I know this because I work at the big tech companies like TikTok, Amazon, and Microsoft. I saw what they need. Maybe you are asking, which language should I learn now? Or can learning this really help me make good money? Maybe you are worried, will smart computers, AI, make learning this programming language pointless? We will talk about all of these things here. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Chang. I'm a software engineer with years of building systems at big tech company. And I saw with my own eyes what skills companies really want. They pay good money for these skills. So this list is not just from internet. I'm mixing information with what I learned inside this cool tech company. I'm sharing things that you might not hear from other places. I will tell you what really help you get the better jobs and more money in 2025. Okay, let's talk about the top 5 language. I will tell you which one is super important. I will also tell you the good jobs they will help you get. The jobs that pay well. I will tell you why X1 is super important. And last, I will tell you how companies will use them in 2025. Let's start with the number 1's language. It is like the king. First, is Python. It's often called number one. But the real reasons it helps you get good paying job may surprise you. This is not because it is popular. Yes, Python is easy to learn. The words look like English. This is a great first language. And it can do many jobs. You see it everywhere. For making website, tool like the jungle help you big website or tool called Flash is good for a smaller one. This is also great for telling computers to do jobs by themselves. This saves people a lot of time. But the biggest reason it helps you earn more is AI and machine learning. AI means making computers smart. Machine learning helps computers learn from information. Things about computers understanding us, seeing pictures or guessing things. Python helps doing that. At TikTok, there are teams that use Python to make us smarter using this idea. Companies really want people who can use Python tool like TensorFlow to build smart programs fast. Also, Python is huge for working with information or big data. People use Python tools like Panda to look at data. Other tools like Apache Spark helps working with really big amount of data. So why Python for good pay? It helps you get jobs making AI or learning machines. These jobs can pay $130,000 or more. This can help you to be a data scientist working with information. This job pays $115,000 or more. This can also help you build a hidden part of websites. Most top companies want you to know Python, especially for data and AI. I know companies really need people who don't just write Python code. They need people who know how to use Python to solve hard problems using information. Python has a lot of help online and tool ready to use. This means things get built faster. Companies like that because it saves time and money. So quick poll here. I want to know which language are you most excited about? Or maybe you are using one now. Tell me in the comment below. I read every comment. Let's help me make videos you like. Okay. Let's talk about the language that makes website work. We have JavaScript and TypeScript. These two work together. They make almost every website you use do cool things when you click. But is knowing only JavaScript is enough for the best pay? You have to know JavaScript for the websites. Almost all websites use it. Let's make the front end work, the part that you see and touch. For the best paying front end job, you need to know a tool like React, Vue, or Angular. This tool helps build cool websites with parts that you can use again and again. This makes big websites easier to build. JavaScript is also used for backend now, the hidden part of the website. A tool called Node.js lets JavaScript run there. This is great for websites that need to be very fast or handle lots of users at once. But here is a new thing for the top job, TypeScript. This is like JavaScript, but it helps you find mistakes early while you are coding. Why does this help you get paid more? Because on big websites like the actual websites I work on at Microsoft, 
Try script stop problems before users see them. Let's make the code easier to fix later. Let's help team work together better on big projects. Big companies pay extra for people who can make websites that don't break. Good paying jobs using JavaScript and TypeScript include front-end engineers, making the part that you see, often paying $150,000 if you know React or similar tool. Front stacks engineers, doing both front-end and back-end part, paying $130,000. Back-end engineers, using Node.js for the hidden part. Smart computer tools can write some JavaScript code, but understanding how it works and using TypeScript to build strong websites that can grow is what really get you higher pay. Companies want people who can build big websites that a lot of people use without problems. Learning TypeScript if you know JavaScript is a small step, but it gives you a big boost for getting better jobs and more pay, especially at big tech company. Next, we have Java. This language has been used for a very long time. Something is its own, but it is still used for important jobs that pay well. Java is the main support for tons of big, important computer systems. Think about bank, online store, and hospital. People trust it because it's stable. It doesn't crash easily. It can handle more work when needed, and it can work well even when a lot of people use it. At Amazon's many important systems use Java because it works so well. A tool called Spring Boot is often used with Java to build big, safe programs for companies. A newer language called Collins is popular now, especially for making apps for Android phone. But most Android apps that is already out there make with Java. Also, a lot of big tech companies have used Java for years. They have many Java programs already running. They still need people to take care of those programs and add new parts. This means good paying job like back-end engineer, making hidden parts especially for banks or stores, enterprise application developers, making softwares for big company, Android developers, making app for Android phone, but columns help too. Pay is often $100,000 to $150,000. Really good people can make $180,000 or more. Java can be a bit harder to learn than Python, but learning Java well, especially with Spring Boot, shows companies you can handle big, important work. Don't ignore Java just because it's its own. It's work well. It's have a lot of help and tool. Companies need it for important stuff. They pay good money for people who know it. Next, let's talk about Microsoft strong language, C Sharp. People often compare it to Java. C Sharp helps you get special jobs, especially if you like Windows, making games, or use Microsoft Azure Cloud. C Sharp works very closely with Microsoft.NET tool. This makes it a top pick for building programs that run on Windows computers. Making back-end part for websites using tools called APS.NET Core. And very important, this is the main language used with Unity. Unity is a super popular tool for making games. A lot of games on phones or computers use Unity and C Sharp. When I work at Microsoft, making their Azure Cloud safer, I often use C Sharp, which works closely with their cloud service. If you want to work with Microsoft tool or their Azure Cloud, C Sharp is almost always needed. C Sharp is usually seen as easier to learn than some other hard language. Like Java, it handles computer memories for you. It has lots of good features. Microsoft gives you great tools to help you write C Sharp code. Some good paid jobs for C Sharp include .NET developer using Microsoft tool, phone stack engineer, using APS.NET for the hidden part of websites, game developers using Unity, cloud engineers working with Azure. Pay is usually like Java job, often 95,000 to 155,000 or more. Knowing C Sharp and Azure helped me a lot. If you like Microsoft thing, building programs for companies or making games with Unity, C Sharps is a clear part for jobs that pay well. Okay, last one here. There is not a coding language like the others. 
but not learning SQLs is a big mistake. You need it for almost any good tech jobs that use information or big data. Most jobs do. SQL help computers talk to database. Database are where computers store information. Think about it. App need to save information, file information, chain information, and delete information. SQL is how they do it. Backend engineers use SQL every day. Data analysts use SQLs all the time to find facts. Data scientists use SQLs a lot to get information ready for smart computers programs. Even people who design the front of the websites find it helpful to understand SQL. As at every company I work at, TikTok, Amazon, and Microsoft know how to write good, fast SQL code was super important for many engineers. It is not just simple query. You need to know how to join information together, make queries run fast, and handle a lot of data. The best SQL queries can make a popular website run very slow. I remember fixing just one SQL query that makes a website much faster for everyone. Smart AI's programs need tons of information. Being able to get and use that information with SQLs is more important than ever before. Knowing SQL well doesn't give you a job title, but being great at SQL helps you earn more money in jobs like data engineers, data analysts, starting around at 95,000. If you are good at SQL, you can do more yourself. This makes you much more valuable to any team. Seriously, don't just ignore SQL. Learning as well can help you do better at almost any computer job. So there you have it. Python, JavaScript, TypeScript, Java, c Sharps, and SQLs. This language again and again opened door to jobs that pay well in 2025. Picking the right one depends on what you like. Building computer systems, AI or machine learning, or websites or big companies' programs, games or working with information. But learning one or more of this is the key. But knowing which language to learn first is just the first step here. The real work is having a good plan to learn coding well and really get that great job, especially if you didn't study computers in college. How do you plan your learning? What things should you build to show your skills? How do you make your job's application look good? That is exactly the plans that I shared in my other video right here. How I would learn to code in six months and get a job offer, no computer science degree. Let's give you the easy step to follow. So click on the videos on the screen right here and right now to get the full plan. And to help you even more, I have made the free PDF guide. At least the main points about this language and the helping tools we talk about today. You can get that using the links at the very top of the description below in this video. Check out the video right here and then grab the free guides down in the descriptions. Thank you for watching and I will see you over there.